Hi guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Chris and uh, let's say I'm not a happy bunny right now and I'll tell you why. Um, last night I decided to go through my games and check to make sure everything was, um, all my games worked. So I installed and run the games. Um, once I knew the games installed and was running fine, I decided to zip the file, um, zip the games, to, you know, to make it easier for uh, ma easier management. So last night, then I shut the computer off, started back this morning. I went to go to the folder where the games was, so I could upload it to my server. Uh, and it's, it came up with an error saying uh, refers to a location that's unavailable. And I thought, what? And I said about checking the network, you know, driving locations. And I thought, there's no network drive. So I thought, right, do a bit of Google searching. Did a bit of Google searching. Really couldn't find, you know, you know, I couldn't really find anything to do. So I thought, hang on a bit. Let's do a quick just uh, just check. Then a quick just check. It came up saying they, they had problems. So I thought, oh, okay. Perhaps maybe it's recovered the files. Perhaps it's, you know, recovered it. Perhaps something went wrong. So I restarted the computer and the folder had disappeared. So potching around now and I found a folder that, well, after the disk check, it had a, a folder. Um, hang on, let me bring it up a minute. I'll show you what I mean. I had then this folder up here, found.000. So I went into that, started looking around, in fact, first off, I just went properties. And it was telling me it was only um, 2.9 gig. I thought, right, okay, so the games are obviously not in there because the games were quite, you know, quite quite big. So I thought, I'll go into there. I had a look, I thought, oh, it's nothing there, it's crap there. So I went into, I think it was this one, yeah. I knew all my games and I thought, yes, I got my games back. So I thought, okay, let's click on properties, see what the sizes are. As you can see, it says zero bytes, and I thought, what the hell? So I thought, well, let's try and open it, see if it opens. And I got this error. So basically, by the sound of it, the actual thing is corrupt. So I thought, I tell you what, just in case there's something weird going on there, I then copied it to my local drive, and I thought, well, let's try it on here. So I went, properties, again, zero bytes. So I thought, oh, let's try open it, open it here, and boom, the same problem. So obviously, Windows, I, I'm running Linux right by I'm running Linux, this is my main system, which I do a lot of my stuff on. So web browsing, music, video, um, films, whatever, you know, internet browsing. I don't have to go on Linux, but I use Windows just for games. Uh, you know, I got Windows set installed on a second drive. So obviously Windows have done something to this hard drive, to my second hard drive where I've got all my data stored onto, and I've just corrupted all you know, that folder. I really don't know, don't know why what's happened there. But the funny thing is, I had a problem with my external hard drive. Now I could plug it into my Linux system, and it worked no problem. Now this is I'm talking about my external hard drive now. In fact, the one I got right by here. Um, I use this hard drive for backups. Right? So I thought, I, I could plug this hard drive into Linux and it would work no problem. Plug it into Windows, it would just, did, did, you know, couldn't detect it. It, was, it, couldn't, it couldn't be accessed. So I'd done a disk check on it and eventually got it working. So obviously something Windows is doing. And I don't understand what. So let's see, I'm not a very happy bunny. Lucky enough, I still got all my games. So I'm not, all I'm gonna have to do is just recompress them. So, but then I'm thinking, is it really worth compressing them? Because of all I have read or heard that obviously with Windows, it's very dodgy compressing files. But with Linux, I've heard that you don't get the same problems when you're compressing using Linux. So I don't know. So guys, um, if you have an idea what what actually happened there and you know if it was a, a cause of that, let me know. Um, I'd be really grateful. Oh well, I got a nice little job to do in just uh, 
recompress those files, I think. What I might do is two, keep two copies for the meantime. I have comp one compressed um, and one not compressed. So if something goes wrong with the compressed files, I can revert back to the thingies, the non-compressed ones. So, well, thanks guys.